All right, here we go, guys. We've got the Season 13 Oceanic Bracket. We've got the... Uh, this is Sozap's roster here. He's playing Professor X with Defenders or Web Warriors. And we've got Theo here playing, it looks like, an X-Men fully affiliated roster. There we go. Wong's there. Wong's the new, the only uh, non-X-Men here. So we're looking like we're going to see an X-Men battle. Sozap did mention that he's going to be playing... Uh, he wants to play Professor X as, as his leader if possible. So let's see if that's the case. They did roll for priority, and it looks like Theo has one priority. Montesi Formula Demons Downtown. All right, they're gonna. This is gonna be a scrapper here. Uh, Montesi means that uh, Theo is gonna be setting up his, his uh, maybe a setting up a defensive bunker on a demon portal or on like his home demon because he'll have the extract lead. Uh, likely. That's X-Men are usually uh, very strong at grabbing that uh, midline safely. They've got lots of op options because of their cards. So let's see if uh, if that's what happens here. Uh, they have 18 or 19 threats. It's up to Sozap to figure it out. He looks like they're counting through it, but let's take another look at his roster here. He's all right, yeah, he's got some webs. I don't think you're going to see webs or defenders here on demon portals. Um, yeah, no uh, no incinerate immune models either. He's got All right, there we go. They're hiding their rosters here. I don't I don't know if I saw Children of the Atom as a card either to remove conditions. But um, yeah, that's uh They're playing at 18 threat. Perfect. All right. Okay. All right. This is the West. This is the Oceanic Bracket Final. Here we got. We just recorded the second chance final for the West Bracket last night. And the central bracket and the eastern bracket will be decided next week. That's pretty exciting. Qualifying for the season 14 top cut. And we have the final of the season. We have the season 13 finals coming up too. I think Dr. Norbert is going to be streaming that on Tuesday. So... You're gonna probably want to tune into that. It's always exciting to see who wins the uh, the final. We have in the final we've got Caller from Sweden versus Kyle from Canada. So that'll be a really cool. It'll be really cool to watch that. But anyway, today we have a very exciting match coming up. I'm really hoping to see a Professor X mirror here, but. I don't know for sure. Sozap is from the USA. He's from Vermont. And so he is a nighttime player or works the night shift type of situation here. And so that's when he gets a lot of his games in. He was saying how he plays at least a game a day on average, sometimes two. It's more, I think he was saying it was basically closer to like 1.5 games a day on average. So he's been grinding quite a bit. And, uh, and that's, uh, that's probably contributed to the fact that he's in the final here. I think uh, Theo's been in the, uh, in the cut before. 
and I, th I think so, or else either way, I see always see him doing pr really well in the Swisses, like getting to the point where you're, you're, he's in contention for cut, or I believe he's made cut. So let's see what we got here. Sozap is running Professor X, and he's got Magic and Kitty, and he's bringing S Splashes. He's got Sentinel Prime in his X-Men list. All right, that's pretty... Uh, that's pretty not thematic at all. Uh, but here we go. We got Miles as well. And so we've got Brace, First Class, Xavier's Dream, Timmy Max Men, and Sacrifice. All right. We've got Professor Rex on the other side. So this is a mirror. I'd love to see it. Uh, wait, could, be, could it be? Yeah, no. It, there's no way it's X-Force. And I'm looking at the cards, so it's got to be... X-Men, Psylocke, Kitty Pride, Wong, Cable, Savior's Dream, To Me, Maxman, Fall Back, Mission Objective, First Class. Okay, this is this is gonna be a it's gonna be quite the quite the battle here. Both players are gonna be rolling their uh, gonna have their powers online often enough. They both brought five threat big hitters here. One one brought uh, Cable, who has terrain throws access to terrain throws, and one brought Sent so that brought Sentinel Prime, who has access to rerolls, on who to contribute rerolls to the team. Cable can only reroll on his own kit. So um, they both brought Kitty Pride though, and. Uh, that's interesting. It's going to help with dodge. They're going to be able to uh, buff their defense dice or dodge dice. Uh, and it's a range 2 sh like uh, buff ability. The reaction has the range 2 off of Kitty. which And, and we're, on, we're on an E shape secure. So it means that you're likely in a spot where you can uh, buff your whole team or most of your team with those extra dice. And the because of Professor X too, you're going to get power. For s the first time you use a superpower costing one or more you get refunded or like another character gets power back so what's gonna we are gonna see is I, I can imagine we're gonna see kitty playing that ability basically as often as possible just because uh, there's no down there's no the downside to playing it is much less uh, the power cost is much less of a burden overall because the leadership is going to be gaining you probably I would say like three to five extra power around approximately. And the only question is, is who's going to grab the middle, uh, the book for the middle spell book for Theo on the blue side first. I'm, I mean, it looks like you're going to play. Hmm. Looks like the answer is like Cable could just do it for to me. My, he could play body slide by one move, pick up the book of the first class and move back. This is probably what we're going to see, I would imagine. The root is going to be interesting on Professor X on both sides too, right? Like someone is able to get a root on the other team early. Maybe it uh, it, it slows down their their leadership. It's a, good, it's a good counter to the Professor X leadership is Professor X. So let's see. Let's see how that goes. All right, looks like they're all set. We're going into the power phase. Uh, both players, okay, so first class is gonna be have to be played at the start of the activation phase. Oh, they both are gonna play it. There we go. And let's see, let's see how this goes. Playing first class here. Yep, there it goes. I um the, the interesting thing here is that I don't know if uh, I just don't see the value here for Sozap bringing first class. I think I would have preferred to see a different card just because you're only going to get one interaction. So you're you basically played a card to save one power and Professor X is going to get you a lot of power. So I think um a different card I would think I would have preferred to see a different card be played here, but I mean it's not like it's not like the card had no value. 
Um, Xavier, he brought Xavier's dream. Cerebro would have been fun. What else? What, what else could he have brought? I mean, even having mission objective in the list would have been good in case the character goes down. So he brought a sacrifice, no matter the cost. Is that good here? Mm, it's okay here. Fall back. Fall back. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I think fall back or um, mission objective. I would have liked to see over first class, but I mean, some cards. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot that has to happen here for. Uh, the game to be lost over a, a tactic card, especially when it's going to be a game like this, this, uh, this brutal. Uh, I think we're going to see lots of, uh, lots of violence from both, from both teams here. So what we saw was, uh, to me, my X-Men, let Kitty advance, uh, let her advance towards Xavier, which gave her the, the right angle there, gave her um, the ability to um, what did it do? It gave her the ability to get within a one long range move to for hitting the one long range move to hit the middle and pick up the book and then had another action entirely to be able to um, run a, like basically retreat back. Man, I, I uh, all right. Um, magic is going right to the midline immediately. Uh, very, uh, a very bold play here. Especially when he's still got um, Cable and Professor Xavier and Psylocke all have range four attacks. Um, she's going to spend one power and she's going to lose a leadership here. And, uh, Sozap, uh, all right, Sozap's going to basically give another power to prime. Okay. It's going to give the, the cables online that he has range four cables to pull in anyone who dares to step anywhere near the midline. So, oh man, I don't like how he, what he did there. I think he should have just like. The range one place doesn't have to be... It's not a transform, right? You don't have to completely move off of your base. You could just nudge your character a millimeter and be like, there, I placed within one of myself. So I would have loved to see him stay on the car. He's like, it's like a sacrificial lamb a little bit here. This, uh, But like the punishment for, uh, for Theo is also great for standing on the middle. Both players have like these range five beaters here that can just punish uh anyone who goes near the midline especially on this on this first round and all these characters here generally are not like that the rest of the characters besides these besides these uh five threat uh attackers are pretty like they're not the tankiest characters that's for sure no damage reduction or anything like that Looks like Professor X is looking to take the book and put a shot into magic if he gets the wild trigger. Oh no, he, okay, that's a, that's a root, but um, there's no advance on this or anything like that. All right. Magic does have uh, she is strong to Mystic, right? When defending gets... M oh, she's got Reverse Pierce on Mystic. Do you even attack her and give her free power? Alright, you go for it. Ah, oh, man. Magic has four dice with uh, Reverse Pierce on Mystic. Oh, she doesn't get any, though. Wow, terrible roll. And she's rooted. Uh, <laughs> my goodness. That's uh, that's what you want to see if you're Theo. That's, like the, that's exactly the... Um, the role you're looking to see defensively <laughs> doing nothing.
All right. That's Kitty, right? Yeah, that's Kitty Pride. What is she doing here? She's playing. We're getting a to me my X Men here. Is she gonna move up and hit Professor X? Or something like that? Man, is he gonna go like is he gonna just Oh my goodness, man. This guy shows up is like just like throwing his models right down to the middle of the board. That's crazy. That's cra that's like uh much more bolder than than I would than <laughs> the strategies that I would come up with. All right, let's see if what see what he's got for uh range on this attack. Because he can for sure hit cross the midline in a single move action now based on his board position. So, the question would be is he going to be in range 3 of Professor X? But he could also has that range 4 dragon, right? So Or Kitty does, so... I mean, no matter what, you're getting an attack off. Oh, no, it's a range 3 Lockheed attack. Oh, are you in range 3 of first Professor X? Oh, that's a bummer. But... He's got to be in range 3 of... Of Kitty, right? Okay. Alright, he's got an incinerate on Kitty here. Uh, but she does block it. He's going to spend one to place. All right, gets cover on Kitty here at least, so that's good. Okay. Um, are you just save, you just could save Wong here for a a later game. You could say you could give it to give act. Wow, I can't talk. Wong activates, takes the incinerate off of Kitty, but because she's on not on the point, so you don't want her to just be incinerated and off the point. Uh, so it seems reasonable that you would do something like that. You do not, I don't think you need to... I guess you put two characters on the point just because you could be in a spot where a Prime double walks and, pull, and rips Professor X off the point. Um, so he's going to now generate a power and then spend two power to give power to someone else, which would give another power to someone else as well. So he's... Uh, Giving two power to Psylocke here. Okay. And now... Oh, he's he's changing his mind. He's going to Cable instead. So Wong using his ability... Um, using his ability where you pay two power and give one power to someone else. But because he's Professor X leadership, uh, he spent... because he, And he spent power on a leadership, he can give another power to someone else as well. And that's how basically Wong can do a two for two power transfer. Um, my God, I've never seen such aggressive. Uh, <laughs> um, I've never seen su such a huge. I don't know. He's just so aggressive. I have, this is like catching me off guard. But now that he's got he's got his bunker in the middle of the board here, like this is it's interesting because like this is what you need to do if you have extract. If you have um, an extract disparity and you're the one that has less than your opponent, is you need to push into them pretty hard to wear them out 
and we're just seeing that on round one, which is like pretty. Uh, that's pretty interesting. I uh, I I would be I would have been worried for Cable like killing my team, but now at least Prime's now in a spot where um what am I what do I want to say that he's in a spot where he can help he can help the rest of his team. He's about to get two more power at the end of his round at the end of the round here. I would have liked to see him not get incinerated because um, you already have two characters on the point. But maybe Sozep is thinking like I could lose a character or possibly two. I so I still need to win the point after that is all said and done. Um, Theo's gonna have priority here. Which means that Cable is gonna get to activate twice in a row, or like basically in a row, before Sozap can react to it. And that's a reason that's a big reason why a lot of people don't like push onto the midline. Uh, early in the first in the early in the game because usually that means that the strongest model on your opponent's side gets to get two to it if they have priority of course gets to get uh, two uh, meaningful activations in terms of like attacking uh, before you get to activate your first character on round two so i think we're going to see that here we got a range three check on magic it looks like she will have rerolls set for Prime, and the rerolls will be part of the Xavier's leadership uh, trigger. So, I think that Sozap has no problem spending for rerolls here on defensively. Uh, does and Kitty doesn't have any power to buff the dice though, so or um, so Magic's just rolling three dice. Cable is gonna. This is a big hit, right? Five reroll two. Okay, that was not what you want to see out of a first roll from Cable here. He's rerolling two at least, and and Magic rolls blocks very well. But look at that, <laughs> no damage, just an incinerate into Magic. Who already would be incinerated anyway. We had a we had pay one for a reroll on Prime, which is going to trigger the the uh, it's gonna trigger the leadership and therefore Kitty Pride is going to um, get a power. So next round she'll have extra defense dice is basically the the idea we're we're seeing here. So he just did his power transfer from Prime onto Kitty with that leadership, and it's just setting up next turn. But uh, let's see. I would have personally, I would would have just like Cable's going to get another attack action here. I would have maybe saved the power to actually get the reroll, but uh, maybe he's valuing the Kitty Pride getting that defensive buff more than I am. So I mean, that's probably that makes. I can see what he's doing, and it makes sense. Okay, so it's another attack with Cable, rolling five dice. Oh my goodness, Cable, what is going on? That's that's crazy. He just blanked out again. Um. Okay, well he gets two. Con he converts the rerolls, so he's got two. This is where you have Prime. You pay power on Prime to reroll one die. See, and if you didn't, if you did the power, if you save the power. Alright, we've got Xavier paying one to reroll, and it does not convert. Hold on. Blue, okay, yeah. Oh, no, hold on. Professor Xavier on blue did the reroll. That's what we saw first. So now we've got three into. I think that was into Kitty, right? Yeah, yeah. So you've got to pay for on Prime to reroll this one here. Or that's what you'd want to do, I think. Oh, oh no. Looks like that was into magic. Um, he had cover there. So he should have blocked and took an only two damage. He forgot about his cover. Cover is optional. So um, you can't really jump in and say, hey, make sure you about cover. Because it's a, it's a decision that the player that is defending takes. Well, 
still has Psylocke to go here, but I'm not... Well, let's see here, Psylocke. Psylocke has energy attacks. All right, here we go. We're going to see a web swing on Miles here. Spending two power. So now he's going to have a six dice physical. Who's he going into here? Gonna go into Kitty Pride, maybe. Only has. <laughs> um, yeah, only has two dice for Kitty here. She can pay two though to increase her dice. Does she do it? There she goes. Goes to four defensive dice and gives leadership. <laughs> Who does he give it to? Cable? Nope. Cable's also buffing. Who gets the power? So we got we got six defensive dice for Kitty here. Oh my goodness, this leadership is just ridiculous. Um, all right, we've got Professor X gets the power. Three successes, nothing crazy. He does get a wild throw though, so that's the that's pretty important. And look at that, you you buff your defense to six, and you still only roll one defensive dice. You're like, geez, oh man, I should have. I wish I got more than that, but. It, man, I've I've done this kind of play before with Steve Rogers and Shields and Crimson and Cable and, and Sam Wilson and all that and I've rolled like <laughs> crazy defense dice and it's still like you get like one success. It's like ah, oh, it's a bummer. So he's taking he'll be taking three damage net here, uh, one from the throw and then two damage from the attack. So let's see if the throw. I mean, of course, the throw has to connect with something to the for that to be the case. Oh, he used the reroll. And didn't get it either. The blue so blue, we used a, we saw a defensive reroll there that ultimately didn't connect. You're going to throw into cable looks like. Jeez. That makes sense. Just end a All right. Um, does Professor X get to use? I think you should have just thrown into Professor X there, is my guess. Just because he uh, he only has two defensive dice, so it's like you're going to get even more damage through. I say that, and Cable completely whiffs anyway. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, that's pretty funny stuff going on right there. Um, Alright, so are we getting a range one bump because of the shield boost? I think that's what that is, right? I have to read that card. Okay. After the effect is resolved, you can place... The throne character or push character within one of themselves. That's what we're seeing right there. So she's getting bounced back into a little bit of safety. Um, Miles is going to be done his activation. And we got Psylocke versus uh, Professor X left to go here. I love uh, I love Psylocke going into Miles here. It feels like a juicy target since he's not going to get any rerolls at all. He's just a naked three threat, three defense, five health character, which are um are usually considered paper thin we do have rerolls from sentinel prime though so there's that kitty pride can also buff the defense dice on miles as well so that uh that that paper on on paper miles is thin but like he's going to get two defensive buffs We're definitely going to see Psylocke. She's going to, it looks like she's already paid the power. And Professor X got a power from that to do the advance. Now you've got a range four attack with the, I think it's with a hit. It gets you a advance trigger. So you could set up the four dice attack. Yeah, pursuit. And then you could do a uh, telekinetic katana for seven dice. Because you've already used combat enhancement to boost that attack in the future, so or you could just move and get the seven dice attack. You don't, you might not want to risk only the four dice attack and missing the hit, but um, I would, I would roll it. I would roll. It. It's a hit, man. It's you're, it's you're gonna get these. You're gonna expect these every time. You've got two dice faces, 
25% chance per die. You're rolling four die. God. It's gotta be. It's like a 100% chance, right? <laughs> oh, he doesn't get it, but he's still rolling well. Two crits, so two more chances here. He's got re-rolls with Professor X. That's another thing, too, is that... There it goes. Four into Miles, blocking only two. So he's taking two right now, and there's no... Um... I guess like the question is like why would it wouldn't you want to reroll this maybe? I don't know. That's that's a question. Uh, Xavier is a Xavier is a once per turn reroll, so maybe you want to save it for the the big hit here, the the sword. Telkin and a katana. Hmm. All right. We're gonna see it here. Seven dice into miles. Oh, look at that whiff. All right. There you go. That's why you saved uh, Xavier's power and Psylocke's power. Spend one on Psylocke, and you're going to spend two on Xavier here. Maybe. I guess you do one at a time. Oh, that's terrible, man. You're expecting to do more than that. Let's see if you get a... Uh, you need two, You need both of these to convert if you want to get damage through. I would honestly just save the power at this point. Um... And I wouldn't even do the extra rerolls, but you never know. If you get a couple wilds in here, you could... there you go. All right, it worked out. So a wild means that Miles is going to lose a power. Um, he's got to lose a power. There you go. He got it. So, yep, it's like a half of half of a sap is what neural disruption does. Per wild, you get to take power away. Uh, okay, so that's uh, Psylocke done. Puts in chunking miles through. Both team, both uh, teams have had two characters, both low on health or dazed. And we've got Sozap's last activation to go here with my, with uh, Professor X. However, uh, I don't see how the range four looks out on Cable. So I'm I'm not sure that uh, we're gonna see. Uh, any attacks from Cable this round? Or, sorry, from Professor X for Sozap. It's a bald slap fest. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it is. That's We are seeing that. That's for sure. This is the Oceanic Bracket Finals. We're seeing two Professor X uh, leaders going at it. Okay, looks like it's... Uh, what is this going to be? 3-3. Three, three. I know, yeah, I know. They've just kind of, they've kind of yoloed each other, is what we're seeing here. <laughs> just, uh, just going right at it. I think that we're gonna see Sozap lose a character, lose magic this round, like almost guaranteed here. Uh, Cable, Cable's gonna freaking just light, light her up. <laughs> uh, the entire team except Psylocke is incinerated. Professor X should be incinerated. There you go. My goodness. <laughs> Everyone except for Miles is incinerated. Oh my goodness, dude. The, uh... Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Usually when I watch Demon Portals, it's like you strategically put only one character... Or in, on on the, on the back point, and then you put one character on the demon portal. But uh, they're both like, <laughs> they're both bunkering up here. <laughs> Definitely a choice. Yeah, yeah. Let's see what Cable can do here now that he's got some incinerated targets. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I'd kind of want to like freaking go in there and just area attack the whole thing. But I don't know, maybe that's just like... Uh, yeah, Aussie bracket is crazy. I know, right? These guys are these guys are wild. But it, it's interesting because Theo had gotten here, has gotten here so far, playing this affiliation. He, he's played Professor X leadership in all of his games, the first three rounds, and he's won all three rounds. And uh, 
And Sozap also he played he played Professor X twice, and then uh, and he played Miles Morales as a leader once. So both of these players were repping Professor X the whole bracket. Oh man, this is crazy. Cause like Cable's definitely gonna go again to be dazed if uh by like the by like Sentinel Prime or something. And Sentinel Prime has ten health. It's like can you beat through can you shoot through ten health? Alright, he's going to try to take out Miles or shut down a Miles activation immediate immediately. Is he gonna throw terrain or something? These guys are these guys uh are tabbing every every decision here, so let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, okay. They're they're he's He's uh, putting up all his defensive bu uh, bonuses here. So Kitty probably just paid two power. Give Sentinel Prime a power. And then... Um, Alright, so that's all. You're only seeing that defensive buff. Yeah, you don't have cable for shields or anything like that. So you're just getting two extra dice on Miles. So he's going to four dice. Four? Oh, who's attacking? This is only four attack dice. Who just attacked? Oh, that was Kitty Pride attacking. Okay. Ben, you're going to lose Cable. I don't know. I'm worried he's going to lose Cable before he gets to activate him. He's only has four health left on Cable. But, um, all right. She's going to do the spender here, though, right? She's definitely doing a spender. <laughs> all right, we got more defensive tech coming in. Yeah, so Miles wasn't incinerated. So going into Miles meant that he got to roll five dice instead of four. Uh, <laughs> the um, all right. So now we've got a Kitty Pride buff here on Miles, rolling four dice, and we've got Kitty Pride rolling seven dice. Or is she, she's doing the seven dice attack, right? Sacrifice. Yeah, oh, yeah, there you go. So who's it going into? Uh Shadow Cat. So Shadow Cat. She doesn't get cover because no dice mods. And she can't explode crit, so we have to watch out for that. And no rerolls. Alright, so just one block after sacrificing the kitty. And we have like I, I'm I'm like can't believe that uh he didn't do like a spender here. Like, what are you going to do with all that power on Kitty? I guess you're going to use it for a bunch of shields, but she's... I, I don't know. Like, uh, I have not played these characters, all right? So me I'm not understanding what's going on is uh, is expected. She's going to spend... Okay, so she got a wild trigger, I think, right? Yeah, there you go. What, what the heck is she doing? Okay, she's doing a phase rush, is what I just saw. And therefore, she's uh, given a power to Professor X to do that, or like as part of the leadership. All right. So, Kitty took only two damage there. Now Magic is going to go. She's going to spend two power to get a range two place. Giving a power to somebody. And then she's gonna. It looks like she's gonna do an attack. Maybe a spender here into Cable. Six dice, counting skulls. It's great because it's like a counter defense measure. Like you add dice to your. You add dice to your um to your defensive pool, and it might actually end up helping Magic because you get more chances to hit the skulls, because it's like the it's same as the Dormammu attack. So, let's see if that comes into play at all here. Good placement there in terms of uh, getting no overlap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. I don't do. I don't know. Okay, guys. I'm. I'm just. I'm. I don't. I don't know the decision making here. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So, we um. We've got magic going with 
uh, what is this was overall this was three six dice got two skulls counting skulls so that's five seven successes that's gonna get whoever six health only six health who did you take out you just took someone out though for sure uh, I guess yeah no one has counting blanks on mystic so you're showing seven that's a one shot oh you don't need to reroll right Surely that's a one shot. Seven, you've got seven successes, and you've got one block on Theo's side. Okay, my bad. I'm remembering that they can, you can uh, defensively reroll. So he's trying to, he's trying to fight through that. He's trying to avoid a defensive reroll, saving the other character. And of course, that makes sense. So he got a skull. He, I mean, now he's showing eight successes, and let's see who he went into here and. Uh, Magic slabs, yeah, like I'm seeing it, I'm seeing it. It's it's interesting too because magic, like my perception of magic is that she doesn't slap and so I'm always surprised by, all right, I have to jump in here. Hey guys, what's up? Hey man, how's it going? Good. Just a quick question. He's got locks on the dice and uh, as far as I make it, he's on the dice. I got one block, so I'm taking seven, right? Uh, okay, so you're counting skulls on both. This is the spender for magic. Yes. So yeah, you're yeah. you're counting skulls so, on, um, in both rolls. So you're at you're at uh, seven, yeah. eight successes right now. For, one block. Yeah. For yes, one block. Yes. Now, if I wished to play Xavier's dragon, I I would only my thinking is I I would only be able to suffer six. So I would take six, then I'd play, because that's the point where I'd suffer damage, then I'd play Xavier's Dream to take X power and reduce that six by six, or would I be playing it before I've worked out that I can six times? Oh, that's a good question. I had not... Because uh, um, there's when you would suffer damage, and when you suffer damage, my thinking is, as much as it's probably, you know, yeah, helpful so, in this yeah. circumstance, you'd calculate the damage suffered first. You can't, cal you can't take more than you've got. You need to reduce the total incoming damage. Um, yeah, you'll need to reduce. So if you if you play Xavier's Dream here, you would need to. And if you if you're taking six to get dazed, you would need to pay th yeah. three power on Xavier's Dream in order to take only five damage and survive uh, with one health left. I'm actually That's taking seven because I have got one lock. But yeah, so you're saying it yeah. takes it from the total amount, not total the, amount. Uh, not. The... Yes. Cool. Yes. Well. I think we might just take the hit here. All right, I Excuse will. Me. I will uh, see you. See you later. Yeah, thank you. you. Know. All right, thank you. All right. So he's going to get one shot. Sidelock is going to get one shot here. Um, and now we're doing a regular attack into Cable. Yeah, okay. So with well, Professor X, sometimes you waste a reroll just to cycle power. All right, that makes sense. Yeah, we saw that uh, earlier when he spent power on a reroll, even though he uh, was already blocking the full damage. And it did, uh, it got him power onto Kitty. Okay. Now we're doing a uh, an attack for magic into Wong here, it looks like. No damage buff. And it looks like it's blocked as of right now. All right. <laughs> um, man, cable. This cable. What is cable gonna do here? Cable is not a threat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He doesn't get that X Force reroll, so he's kind of a joke. <laughs> Oh man. Here we go. This is going to shut down Miles probably. 
And the thing Xavier's dream is funny on both sides. Uh, it's gonna take me. It's gonna take me a few months to not get caught by Xavier's dream. Honestly, I'm gonna keep being like expecting to kill a character, and then it's like, boop, nope. It's gonna take a while. All right. So we're gonna see. Cable's been rolling like absolute garbage though. So let's see what uh what comes in here. Oh, I think he. I think he just whiffed, and that's why they cleared the the tray. We are playing uh, Austra in, uh, from Australia. Theo's in Australia, so it's like there is a little bit of lag. But we have a another terrible roll from Cable. Oh, it's just, at least you got the rerolls. But man. Alright, three. He's showing a kill on Miles here, uh, an injure, a uh, daze. So let's see how Sozap reacts to that. He's going to pay one for a Xavier reroll offensively. So to just try to guarantee it, or, or I guess not guarantee it, because Miles could still triple block on those rerolls. There's four. Cable Miles needs a a uh, complete block here. No, there you go. He's gonna go down. Cable's going to get a power there for the damage. It's going into magic. All right. <laughs> Why get do this cable? Has been rolling way under expectations uh, so far. His initial rolls have all had like two successes or less, which is just absolutely garbage. Oh man, that's a that's rough spot to be in. Your cable's just not converting. Um, but you might you got your two rerolls. It looks like you might have already taken them actually. So just throw the car that is in the middle of the board and and move on is what I. Uh, looks like the play body sliding should get you a power I don't think you've played a superpower yet this turn maybe maybe you did with Professor X actually all right there we go Oh my goodness, it's just crazy. Just like throws him into the whole team. Um, but he's got 10 health, man. So he's going to buff his dice here. He's going to spend three power to roll uh, eight dice, an eight dice builder. There it goes. Why no throw? Good question. I don't know. Um, yeah, you would have wanted to throw that, that car that Kitty is on at least so that she doesn't get cover in addition to her, um, like, she doesn't get cover at all. And keep the cover for yourself, probably, like, with these other cars. Um, Prime spent... He just spent five power. So he did, a. He did the cables, right? Is that what I just saw? Like... Maybe he spent. He maybe he's doing the nine dice, going to ten dice. Seven. No, he's doing eight dice. Three successes. And wow, look at that! A massive block by Theo. Oh my goodness. Uh, that's wow. That's prime done. He gets his two power from the ending, but he just <laughs> whiffed pretty bad too. Uh, so both the beater here, five threat beaters here, just like, um, not getting any sort of out really crazy output. Cable did one damage. 
And Sentinel Prime did nothing, I think. No damage. Wong strike into <laughs> strike into prime, gain power. Wong just spent the power to heal Cable and heal Shadow Cat. That was both of his actions. So he's going to be done. And uh, there you go. Cable healed and Kitty and Kitty healed. Now he's basically back up to full health other than losing the Psylocke one shot. Got Cable shields to come in that can go online. He's got Kitty Pride shields that can go online. For his whole team except for Psylocke. And um, yeah. So let's see what Professor X does for Sozap here. Gotta, I mean, are you gonna do that? Yeah, there we go. I was gonna check. Are you gonna do the attack that can ad advance characters? Six dice Mystic for one power. Alright. Looks like it's going into Wong here. Wong getting three defense or hold on. Is this uh is it going into Wong? He's only rolling two dice. Oh, because he has three mystic? Yeah, he has three mystic and he's incinerated. Okay. So looks like two damage goes through on Wong with a root on him. He's gonna try to reroll to convert some more damage. There's four, and uh, and he got the power on a shadow cat from the leadership. Okay, Theo gonna have priority here if he does not daze shadow cat on Sozap side. It's tough though because uh, we've got Prime with with the double wilds and we have Magic with the wild reverse Pierce, so pushing the Mystic damage through on either of those characters and then of course Xavier has six Mystic. Uh, Kitty Pride has Stealth and Cover, so it's just like it's not uh, very appealing options for For Xavier, I mean, my only thought here is like maybe you you just try to get a root down on Prime, because that he does all of his like ways to make him good are based on him spend using superpowers. So I would just attack into Prime and hope for hope for the wild. I think. All right. He's looking to push damage through on Kitty. I think this is a little risky because if she gets one extra power. She can just smack into Professor X. Did he do this? Did he do a spender here? Blue, just spend. Yeah, so he's doing the ability to advance her. Okay, interesting. Um, and he's going to get some damage through here. Let's see if Sozap remembers cover. Nope. He does not get cover anymore anyway because of the skull. And he just gets her. Four into one, takes three, and loses. Yeah, and that means Sozap gains priority. And he's going to win the secure and win two books. So he's going to score four to Sozap scoring one, two. Who needs prow? Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, he, I guess like the argument here is like all of his characters except Wong are, uh, have a lot of health left. So, 
the odds of him getting like uh it just means that he's likely to be able to get all of his activations anyway like as my as what probably what he's thinking here he's got cable shields he's got xavier rerolls so maybe he has, his Psylocke can like uh get an act activation this turn and not be just like taken off the board um okay so we saw the score go from uh hold on shouldn't uh he scored oh no hold on he scored he scored three my bad three for theo because he's got one demon portal and two books and two for so zap so that's why it's six to five okay Got a five dice attack coming in. Magic doing a doing a. She must have rerolled here. Okay, so she did a reroll. So yes, six successes with a spender is what it looks like. Red, maybe not. Maybe it's just a five dice builder, because it's one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, so it was the five dice attack from magic. The Mystic Pierce, I believe, is what it has on it. Soul Sword. Yep. And uh, so it's four successes, no Pierce. And that's no successes here. So we're seeing four damage go through on... It was four rolls, so it's either it was either Cable or Psylocke. I can't believe he didn't like defensively buff that. Maybe it was someone else. Hold on. Yeah, who else? Who would it have been? It would have had to have been. They're rolling. They're rolling. Uh, it had to have been. Okay. Fallback. Yeah, so it was Psylocke looking for a fallback option. One power taken off of each of them? Why is that? Hey, Vodka Blitz. I'm so not understanding. Oh, he plays Xavier's Dream. There it is. That's what it is. It's what time is it? Yeah, it's it's six thirty in the morning. Yeah, it's. I started this game an hour ago, so yeah, it's. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty early. I'm going back to bed after this. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's funny. Uh, the uh, interesting. It's also interesting that I uh, finished streaming the West Bracket um, five hours ago or four hours ago or something. It was at 12:30 at night when I finished streaming the West Bracket final. <laughs> okay. All right. So um, let's see. What do we have here? So we had an Xavier's Dream into Psylocke. It saved her from taking any damage, and now we're having. And now we're having magic go again. She rolled again. Looks like she's got four, five, six. So she's got the spender here. So she's showing five successes and six successes when you count Theo's skull and into two blocks. So that six into two is four damage coming in into Psylocke here. She has five health. A reroll here. That's why that's why we're seeing Sozap do a reroll because he's looking for the the kill, the the KO. No spender, she didn't spend. Hmm. Well, what the heck was that then? How did, oh, maybe I'm missing something. One, two, three, four, five. This is tough to see. Okay, that was Xavier's dream. Then he rolled one, two, three, 
four, five. Oh yeah, right, okay. He did roll only five dice initially. Three, four, five. Okay, so it was just another builder. Okay, so now what are we seeing here? Now Psylocke is going to go, going to just do uh, some pre-stun spenders. Do you like run away with her? Do you like do like a big attack? All right, Miles, looking to one shot Miles here. Seven dice. You got a ton of rerolls, full rerolls probably, right? Or what's the? There might be a limit on that that ability. Okay. Oh, there we go. Big hit. Miles blocking only one. Yeah, there you go. So five successes, and you're gonna get your rerolls. You're gonna spend three for rerolls here. It's a pre-damage stun, right? It's gotta be. So we'll, they'll get that on there. Assuming he doesn't just get off the board. He's got Xavier's Dream as well. <laughs> so we're about to see Xavier's Dream happen here on this side, I think, too. All right, there you go. Full reroll here for all the misses. And you even have Xavier to reroll as well after the, whatever these convert into. Professor X gets a power for the the superpower being used. All right, there you go. You've got you're showing seven successes. You've got a KO'd Miles here, even if he blocks. There's Xavier's dream. No, it's not. That's Xavier reroll. Okay, just an Xavier reroll. Uh, spent two. Blocks two, he's still dead. So he's dead exactly here. So now, oh, he's just taking the kill. I get, okay, I mean, maybe that makes sense. Uh, I don't know. Like, losing a character? Losing a character instead of a card? I would have rather lost a card than a character here and played Xavier's Dream. Take basically, what, take four, like take one damage there? It would force Psylocke to have to stay in the action and therefore get KO'd because like she'd have to do a second attack on the miles. I don't know. I think that that's where I would have played Xavier's dream for so that, but <laughs> um, okay, so now we have Prime going into Xavier. He's spending two power, so poor Xavier is only rolling one defensive dice. Five dice into, I would imagine, right? He's not gonna. He's not gonna be spending for the extra dice, or maybe he is. Like, what's? Well, I guess what's better? What's better is it better to pay two power to lower the defense, or pay two power to increase your defense? You might maybe it's increase your attack. It's maybe it's better to increase your attack dice. Oh no, it's not, because the six going down to two is way better. All right. Oh my gosh, he's. I'm looking at the top of the screen here. He's rolling a lot of dice, so he did end up. Um, he paid it down. How did he roll five dice? Uh, cause he goes down to one and he gets buffed by cable goes to three. No, no, hold on. He just didn't pay. Oh, I see my bad. He increased his dice pool. That's why he went down to five. I'm so confused here. Um, God, there's too much. There's too many superpowers happening. Okay, I see now. He buffed twice. So he did pay to lower the shield on Xavier, and then he paid for double boost. 
Okay. Now we're seeing a double boost again. After Prime paid again, I think. So we're seeing five successes. It converts into six overall. And we're seeing... Uh, we're seeing two, so Xavier takes three. Six into two is four, takes four. Okay, so, uh, wow, lives on one. <laughs> yeah, exactly, MCP special. Oh my goodness. Well, at least it has Prime has tons of powers now. It has tons of, uh, Tons of power now. Well, Xavier. What can Xavier do with all that? <laughs> okay, okay. That's funny. All right. Um, yo, he could roll. Uh, he could roll three, five. He could roll nine dice Mystic into um, the Prime. <laughs> it's not that great thing is like that like astral duel it sucks against both prime and magic like pretty bad um it's funny you could astral duel professor x to roll 10 dice yeah yeah that's right yeah yeah let's see i'd love to see that that'd be pretty funny uh astral duel is so duel is so bad oh man that's rough yeah i can see it not being great here uh He's not even going with Professor X. That's how, that's how. <laughs> yeah, Taskmaster version is, uh, it's the same exact thing, but you start with more dice. Or no, I think, no, hold on. I don't know, I don't remember. What do you get, eight dice? You get eight dice. You, yeah, you get eight dice on Taskmaster. Yeah, and it's just flat. There's no, uh, okay. We're seeing a four dice attack from Theo here. Or, that was five. Okay, so it was five dice attack. One, two, three, four. And Cable, like, whiff, absolutely whiffs again. But, uh, looks like defensive whiff. So, through two damage going through right now. He could pay to reroll. You might as well. Why it's Xavier, right? Like, he's got maxed on power. You spend two here and you get two more rerolls. You gotta give a leadership to someone. Uh, there you go, four, all right. <laughs> yeah, Cable needed four rerolls to get four, to get uh, the four successes through here. Okay, so we've got paying, what are we doing here? Paying two power on Prime to reroll himself. Gets one, takes three. Oh my goodness, all right, it's going into magic. Okay, that makes, that makes sense. Taking magic off the board, she hasn't activated yet, is a very reasonable decision. Uh, and now you can, didn't play Xavier's Dream yet either. He's still holding that card, so you throw the card into him, right? What are we seeing? I'm seeing another attack. What are we seeing? All right, we had Kitty Pride buff magic's defense shields. So here we go, Cable finally gets a good initial roll. Showing four successes. All right, five. There you go. Oh, uh, so she's taking four and getting, taking three exact, taking three. So she could Xavier's dream for two here and live on one, uh, if you wanted to. She's already activated. So. It's like you, you could play Xavier's Dream and then die anyway. All right. Now you throw the terrain into magic and then you kill her. Yeah, nice. Good luck, Vodka Blitz. All right. Plays Xavier's Dream to live on one. Okay. Ooh, interesting because... Uh, because Kitty could just kill her now with an activation. Or you could just throw you just throw the car into her. Oh, Brace. There's Brace. But, I mean, I guess you just... You should have played Brace earlier. 
for this reason right here, because then now you'd actually have a, a, an attack that, or a throw that can't be braced, because it would be gone at that point. How close to each other were the rosters in this game? Yeah, so um, Sozap had this really interesting roster that was, that had uh, a Web Warriors and Defenders flex into it, and um, and Theo on this side had all X-Men except for Wong. So they were completely, they were there quite the differences. Like Miles and Sp I think Spider-Woman and Daredevil were all in Sozap's list. Alright, so Brace is gone now. Cable can get some terrain throws next round. We're seeing a uh, we're seeing an attack into Professor X. It's a it's a psychic battle here. Uh, they both roll very poorly, but so Zap rolls worse, and uh, no damage goes through. Fall back. There you go, protecting Xavier from getting uh, from getting him at all. You got you got it. That angle looks not right. Oh, that angle is too. Yeah, that angle is. There we go. Love to see it. Just straight back. Just get out of four. You can't get there. You have to stay your whole kit. Your when you do the the uh, things like this with fallback advancing within a uh, an angle, you can the tool can end like can be outside of the ninety degrees, but the entirety of the base has to end up within the ninety degree frame. So that's like things that you could like you could advance around terrain as long as your your base ends up fully within the ninety degree angle, you're good to go. That's like for things like this, fallback or deception are both. All right, so he's ending, he's going to end up within four of magic, but outside of four of uh, Sozap's Professor X. Yeah, so now he's going to go into Wong or Cable here, it looks like. Or Psylocke. Oh no, she has stealth actually, so never mind. <laughs> Are we going to see defense shields come up from Cable here? Man, it's interesting because, like, <laughs> you could see Cable spend two for shields, and then it'll give a power to Kitty, who can then uh, who can then spend power for shields. Oh, I think, right? Is that how that works? Like, after the effect is resolved, is that the timing of Cable? Like, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you have to wait until the attack sequence is over. What time is it for me, Lucas? Uh, it's uh, it's six six forty seven a.m. Uh, the game started an hour and twenty minutes ago, so it is very early. Yes, I was. Uh, yes, it, I had I have four hours of sleep or so, approximately. I'm going back to bed after this. All right. So we're seeing he attacked into Wong and in, in days Wong. <laughs> Ah oh, man, yeah. I mean, they're, they're just the. I like I like recording these finals games because they have an impact into the next TTS season. So, they're interesting to me. Um, winner of this is in the season fourteen, which takes place, which starts in about five weeks. I think just under five weeks. We have we everyone has a month off here. I have a month off basically. <laughs> um, so that's gonna be nice. <laughs> okay, we've got Professor X moving here, sliding in. That makes sense. This is where Cable was before, and he was on the point. So, yeah, he's on the point again. And you're going to just try to put the kill shot into, into magic here. 
you got four defense dice and magic. You maybe you spend three. Uh, there it goes. Three's power. You're doing the uh, wow, 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 the uh, <laughs> the astral duel. <laughs> it's like a uh, freaking just <laughs> so stupid. All right, reverse double reverse Pierce. Oh my goodness, magic lifts. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Yeah, yeah, there you go. That's it. Magic gives, gains two power. Thank you very much. You re-roll. Uh, yeah, you can't. Um. Yeah, there's nothing to say here. You can't re-roll your own dice with Professor X. Oh, he's so bad. <laughs> yeah, that's rough. That is very rough. That's, uh... You definitely needed more out of that one for sure. Do you think Kitty is gonna take is gonna one shot Xavier here? Um, with uh, he's only rolling. He could pay down, make him roll only two one die. I guess you've got the defensive buffs though, but still, it's like, oh gosh. Mission objective is online. Uh, with who? Cable. So if he dies, you just give it to Cable. Mag or Kitty Pride will take out like Theo's Kitty Pride will take out Magic, and then he'll be left with only two char three characters. What am I? What am I missing here? Who's Ileana? I wish I don't. I don't know any. Uh, is that like the dragon or something? I don't know. <laughs> All right, you're in martial artist range, but you can do a mystic attack. Psylocke has four defense mystically, no rerolls because she's out of range of her team. So yeah, you gotta take out this nuisance here. It makes a lot of sense. What am I seeing? Red just spent for Shadow Cat to pay two. Okay, I see. Gotcha. It gave power to magic. Oh, that was a mistake. If that's out, that was a mistake. Um, and rolls nothing. So at least you get another attack, though. So you're going to do it again. No crits for Theo on the blue on the blue side. So because of the attacks, I think. I'm pretty sure that he's doing... Uh, he's not doing the dragon attack. Oh, there we go. No successes. That's it. She's gone. And you roll a wild, I think you get that. You get a bounce off of that, right? Yeah, sidestep. So you're gone, Psylocke. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, right, Psylocke has defensive rerolls on her ability. Yeah, that's of course. Precognition. Modify dice. So that's why he's doing the reroll, to try to get uh, more through. Five here, and... Uh, if she, if she, even if she blocked two, she would take three. Yep, so she's gone. And she gets the wild sidestep. Look at that. That was pretty good. That's basically the best you could have hoped for situation, I think. Gets on the point. Um, and now you're scoring... You're scoring three VPs for Sozap to... Theo is scoring three as well. Um, nope, he's scoring two because... Prime is contesting with Cable. So it's currently a tie game at seven at eight to eight. You just kill it, just get magic off the board. Try to. Just go on the point. And attack magic, and that way you at least are winning. You um, you're winning by one VP, <laughs> and uh, and maybe maybe you get magic here.
All right, let's see, what's the plan here? And KO and Crystal. KO and Crystal's gotta be the play here. I know you can get a, bun a bunch of rerolls on Crystal, but. But you're gonna have rerolls on it for your own guy. Two blocks. Oh man, dude, these dice dice are bugged. What's going on here? He's gonna spend three power on Xavier, giving a power to Shadow Cat. Let's her bounce back. Nope, no damage. Oh no, crits don't count. So yeah, you can reroll that. Okay, that makes sense. So you one damage through. That's gonna be enough. All right. Uh, and he's got another reroll coming in with uh, with that was for Prime. Now this is Professor X. Are they are they playing the leadership wrong? Like when do you get the power? It says after the effect is resolved. Which effect? The the attack sequence. Or is it the uh, or is it the effect of boosting the dice? Is it it must be it must be like the actual effect of like the superpower. Right, like you use the superpower, and the effect is this. The effect is what's triggering the leadership. Therefore, when the superpower is enacted, from a, you get the power. I, I mean, I guess that's I guess that's how it is, but I've never actually read um, any sort of interactions with that leadership yet. I should probably do that. All right, um, I'm sure they're playing it right. They're both playing it the same way. Yeah, even if they are playing it right, they're both playing it the exact same way. So it's like. Uh, there's balance. I'll have to check into that and understand the rule better. All right. So we we saw two we saw two books for Theo, one book and one point for Sozap. He went from six to nine. How did he go? Theo should have only got two books here. Um, Professor X on the point? Oh, he was. Never mind. Oh, he was. Professor X was on the point. Never mind. So that means that's where he... Never mind. Alright. Uh, yeah. Professor X was on the point. So, uh, I forgot he squeezed in there, and that was the whole idea. He just It's just not showing on his card. So, uh, Cable and Professor X did win that box secure, and that's how he went to three VPs. And Sozap had two VPs. So he went from five to five to seven. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now we're seeing. So Professor X just got dazed here by the other Professor X, I think. We have mission objective being played into Wong. All right, he now has put damage through on Cable. Must have done the spend, did he do the spender there? I'm not sure what happened with the attack, but he has, he has eight dice, so he must have done the spender into Cable for to do that.
looking to throw a size four. And uh, Prime definitely gets there, but that's only uh, that's only five di five successes. You're gonna need to get like ten successes over your whole activation at minimum to take out Prime, assuming he whiffs everything. So it's definitely doable. All right. Well, let's see what he gets here. He's got three dice. Incinerate is only for def dodges, and, or sorry, defense and attack dice, or defense dice. He whiffs it. Yeah, Domino would have been sick because she always she's getting that uh, that leadership trigger offensively and defensively every time she uh, is attacked or attacks. Or, like, consistently gets it, at least. Alright. There's an attack. Another cable. Another not great active uh, attack roll for cable. Only getting two successes initially. And only gets two. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Leadership on Professor X. All right, takes one. Prime takes one damage. He needs to push through four damage now. Oh, man. All right. All right, no a whiff on so is Epsi. This, this could do it. He's got a crit to roll in here. He's got no successes on Prime, so... We're in the, we're in the zone, the one, the one activation, the one round days on Prime. Four, that's enough on paper. All right, so he's locked in at four, I think. What am I missing? Okay, he's got four. If Prime whiffs, all, oh, he's just going down? What, okay, what is going on? Now, surely you had another reroll available to you. Yeah, you could have rerolled again. Okay, sure. Okay. All right. Um, so, man, why didn't Prime re-roll there? I don't understand. Okay. Well, that's uh, we're now going with Kitty into Kitty. Is she gonna buff her own dice? Oh, hold on. She's doing. What did she just spend three power on? Three power on Shadow Cat. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> the Vision Spender costs less. Yeah. Yeah. I, I forgot. I, I was assuming that it cost four. All right. This is a good attack, though. And no, that's no successes for Blue Side. So we're seeing four. That's going to be enough right there. That's it. Just dust her. That's big. Um, gets the two. Gets the wild. So it's a, it's a place off of that. Yep. Ghosted. And now picks up the book and probably walks back onto the point. Scoring himself. Uh, he's looking at scoring four VPs here. And he only has Wong to go. Um... Wong's going to be scoring two VPs. So it's and it's going to be a tie game. 11 to 11. Unless Wong runs away. You heal Cable, right? You heal Cable? You pass Cable power? I don't know. Do you just stand there? <laughs> You, I don't know, I don't think you can afford to like go down any on v, on VPs maybe so maybe you just have to stand there heal cable and give him power
All right, he just did. He did stand there. Did he not give any power out? Seems like a waste. Cause, uh, but like, what's Cab what's Wong gonna do with that four power? Cable would love it for shields, for a area attack if if like he needs to hit some sort of emergency button. All right, eleven eleven here. Both people have. Lost models. Professor X on Theo's side should be incinerated. Same with Prime. Um. All right. Well, we'll get. It doesn't matter. We'll catch that in a second. I think they they're about, they're about to catch it now. There it goes. Yep, they got it. And Professor X gets one. There it goes. All right. So he pumped his dice here. Uh, what is he rolling? Five success. What's the? F oh, the five successes are for Prime's injured side. He gets the extra power. Uh, it's like Goblin's got it too. That power charge. So it looks like we're gonna see. We've, we're seeing six, seven, eight, nine successes with Prime. Or sorry, nine dice, four successes. One block, taking three on whoever he's attacking. One more here. One success. So is this into, this isn't as Xavier then if it's only one success. Ooh, man. All right. And he's shocked, okay. And he's just gonna KO Professor X though here for sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh, jeez, yeah, Professor X is just going down here, like, pre pretty much without any sort of effort on Prime side. He's just going to, there it goes, he's going to spend two power to buff his dice, two power to, <laughs> two power to lower the shields. They're rolling one dice on, on Professor X here. Uh, he's got four, he's dead. No, I think he's just dead because he's got four successes. Yeah, there it goes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. I love the leadership is amazing. The leadership, look at all the power they were getting on each other. It's very fun, like the the thinking of like how we can, you can chain reactions into each other basically. But the problem, yeah, Xavier doesn't. Um, he's not intimidating. That's for sure. Yeah, Wolverine getting rerolls from Xavier and getting the ability to charge like basically guaranteed every round seems pretty good. Wild double wild and a wild pierce on that. <laughs> yeah, don't even interact with the game the game board. Uh, that's good. He's trying to see where the secure is, which is like under. There's no way he gets there. Um, in a, in a with a move action or like with a single place or move. Okay, so now that Prime's gone, he's got to take out Professor X. He take he's got to take out Professor X here, right? So at least he has last activation. Gets the book from Professor X. It's totally doable. He's got only two. He's only got one defense. He's got one defense die. <laughs> uh, Cable spent uh, the two power for the shields going down. Let's see. Let's see a good roll out of Theo here. He needs it. All right. That's all right. That's not bad. He can get the conversions. How is Wong activated? 
he has he's not he should not have activated I'll, I'll catch that after the dice are done one block though look at that he gets his one block and he's got five successes takes four on professor x that was only the first action now you throw the car at him <laughs> you throw the car at him and you get him and then you can put damage into into a prime probably right yeah throw that car for god's sakes throw the car All right, come on, get that car. Throw the car into, into Xavier, he can't stop it. I mean, yeah, we're seeing that right now. All right, so he needs to block a crit. He needs to get a crit here. No, no, sorry, he has, he has, he has two dice. Uh, no, he, he gets God. He's, he's done. Takes, third, takes two, drops the book, picks up the book for Cable. Now it doesn't attack into prime he's only got seven health you can you can push some damage through here wong's got two two four dice attacks maybe you can you can expect uh, two damage from Wong. maybe he's incinerated so hmm attack into prime that's what i would do because you've got kitty you still got kitty and wong you could put all of your attacks into into prime and then he's got little professor x and kitty and that's it i guess your kitty has to survive but uh but so zap's kitty only has two power so it's she can't uh, spend her again and just absolutely annihilate you again All right. Okay, not great, but uh, I don't know what to say. Dang, game. Cable, come on. Like, uh, what are you doing? Three into one? He's got rerolls? Okay. It's not, does he not, can he not reroll on himself? When this character, yeah, he can. Okay, maybe he's. Alright, well, anyway, you only have five health left on Prime. Kitty could spend her in a prime, and uh, and that would be big, on Theo's side. All right, so we're seeing uh, a five dice attack. No, hold on. What are we seeing? We're seeing get him Lockheed for four dice. I would have loved to see the teleport and then the attack five dice attack. All right. Oh man, that's not what you want to see there with that roll. That's a good block, man. That's a rough attack. Do you get the range one place? Um. Yeah, cable could have shifted there too. Uh, yeah. That was both of our actions. I'm surprised he didn't shield on a second action because he's got eight power on cable. So cable is like. Well, now, you, now. Man. 
You go with, he's fully activated. You go with Wong first to see if, like, it's even worth attacking into Prime. I'm hoping that's what he's doing. He's rolling four dice, so it could be either of them. Only one success, one block, no damage. What are we seeing? Oh, power? Oh, we got the... Hold on. He spent... Okay, so at least he's going to do the... Um, Wong activating here would have been better just because you'd get to see more information before you activated your character that had the most impact remaining on the board. But uh, there we go, five into one. So taking two more on Prime here um, without before rerolls come in. I think he's forgetting Prime can reroll his dice. Uh, okay. So now Wong, <laughs> Wong is going to, yeah, he's going for the Wong. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I can see that. He's going for the Wong KO on Prime. He only needs three damage through. It's totally possible. You don't heal Cable yet. You do not heal Cable yet until you get one attack into Prime. There we go. Okay. Just because you want to see what you're working with. One block on Prime. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Double conversion. No, no conversion. Takes two on prime. Uh, rerolls. Any rerolls? No, no rerolls. All right. Wow. He's not, he's forgetting his rerolls on prime. That's a bummer. He's been playing too much Professor X, um, who can't reroll on his own t defense, right? That's how that works. Yeah. So he's been playing too much Prime. Oh, he healed Cable instead of... Oh, dude. I, man, you should have just killed Prime. You get Now Prime gets to activate with... with uh, oh, hold on. He might... He might... No, no. No, no, no. Prime might die. Prime dies here, right? Uh, where is he? Where's the freaking Prime? Here's the Prime roll. Oh, he didn't roll any skulls. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He lives because he didn't roll any, a single skull on five dice. Um, and, uh, and now he gets to activate. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That's terrible for, uh, for Dio. He needed to, he needed to get Prime there. Man, Cable's gonna have to do a little bit of a, I don't know, Cable can still... Like, Theo's up by two here. So... He, if he wins, if he gets two VPs and he takes out, um, a character that has not activated yet, assuming the character that has activated does not have a book, he wins the game, I think, right? Because you can only score, he can only score, uh, three VPs and Theo would be able to score two VPs and win the game. So whatever, whatever Sozap does here, he needs to take out Cable I think he just needs to take out Cable and then survive again. So we get a dice boost on Cable and Shadow Cat here. It's probably going into Cable then because that's uh, or uh, Cable is rolling what? He's incinerated, so he's rolling two plus the dice boost to six. Same with Kitty. They're both rolling six, so I don't know who it is. And that's a horrible roll for Sozap. Um, all right. Cable took two there. Both had terrible rolls. Oh my goodness, there we go. That's going to be a... That's off the board. That's a... That's going to get him. Seven. Oh my goodness, four defenses. Um. Okay, we're seeing Professor X, I think, pay for that. There it goes, three re-rolls. Re Seven into... So he's four. So he needs one of these to convert. Okay, he that's got to get some because he because cable can only reroll one more and, and it'll take it all. Oh my goodness! Is he gonna pick up the book with with the uh, prime? 
and then Prime's gonna get killed by Wong, and then Wong's gonna pick up the. Oh no, Kong can't pick up the book. Okay. Um. Wow. You have to. You have to displace. Oh, you have no power. You can't displace anyone off the point or anything. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> oh my goodness. You're done, right? Your activation's done. So now it's it's Theo's turn. You go with you have to go with uh, Kitty here to take the book. Because if if you if you go with Wong and take the book, you um you or like if you drop the book, you risk Professor X grabbing it. You just that's just not what you want to have happen. Oh my goodness! No damage through there. <laughs> Oh my goodness, man. This is crazy. All right. Um, Kitty, she's going to do it again. Another four dice attack. No crits for Sozap. He's boxed nothing this time. There's three. Uh, gets him. Drops the book. He'll pick up the book. That was... You have to pick it up. You have to put it within one of you. Just pick it up. You have no... You have no more actions. So you just got to pick it up. All right. So now, what's the out here? What are the outs for the players now that Prime is KO'd and Kitty will have the book? Um, Professor X needs to... Miss trigger on attack one. Uh, they're letting. All right, they're, he's letting him get the to do the trigger. All right, that's very nice of Sozap. He definitely does not have to do that. Especially since he's got all the information now uh, that he has, that knowing that he's got he's got the guaranteed KO. So. All right. Well, they worked through it together. Yeah, oh, we see it. Thank you. All right. So now he's going to he's going to KO Prime pick up the book. I mean, ultimately, I mean the reality is is that uh this would have this is this is fine, I think. Like this is nothing crazy happened. It was re was uh, taken back. He probably would have moved. Hmm. I don't know. It's hard to say. Would you have moved Kitty off the point if you knew that you didn't daze Prime? Either way. All right. Um, we've got Professor X. I would have kept her on the point anyway, like because then it just means that she's a uh, she has to be displaced. Or okay, there's Professor X rolling two crits. No, can look at that terrible roll. Only two damage on Wong. Was that that was not the spender? So. Oh my goodness! See, this is why you should have left Kitty on the point. That's crazy that, like, you're going to be in a spot where, um, my god. Wow. You should have left Kitty on the point. You're, you, I think he just threw the game by talk. Uh, what are we seeing? Kitty has a book. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, we're going to have a... It's going to be a tie game. It's a tie game. Unless, of course, of course, uh, no, you can't leave that point. Kitty can't leave that point or else she loses, right? You're only going to get two successes. Two. Oh, my goodness. You're, are you throwing? I hope he's not throwing right now. If he attacks into Kitty, he loses. Oh, hold on. The other Kitty hasn't activated yet. That's what I'm missing. All right. The other Kitty hasn't activated yet. So she could win. Okay. So you do have to YOLO this one. She has activated. 
Oh yeah, okay, all right. Then I'm totally off off on this one. So then, what are you doing? You're throwing the game by attacking her. Yeah, no tick on this one. That's uh, that's frustrating. For I mean, it's, uh, hopefully he knows that. Oh, look at that. He takes fucking. He takes four lives on one. Oh my Christ. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, he got her. With the rerolls, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, that's game. He just won 16-15. <laughs> oh my Christ, that's insane. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. He just one-shot her to, to win. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to jump in their chat, that's crazy, oh my goodness. Earlier, I should have just actually yeah. got a defensive on the point. But. Holy crap, that was so swingy. Hey guys, that was, uh, that was crazy. That was insane. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it came down to the one shot there and then you uh, were able to get it done. So that's, um, oh. yeah, I don't know what to say that. It's pretty wild. Uh, yeah. Um, what did you think of uh, Theo? What did you think of your squad against the Sentinel Prime? Like basically, you brought Cable versus Prime. What were your, what were your thoughts on that? Uh, look, I was a bit. I thought Cable was a bit cold early on. He's just oh, yeah. rolled a couple of skulls and blanks, and that was probably early on the difference. Um, put me on the back foot because I like to get a nice solid early couple of hits with Cable. But um, look, he, he did the job on Sentinel. Um, and then I think the other mistake that I made was um, I, I was aware that Kitty was coming to get that point at the turn two mark or top of turn one. And I just went and had a jack and one shot it. And uh, it flipped priority. And then um, so that kept it for the rest of the game. And, um, and that was the other difference as well that I couldn't get really until the end get prior back. And um, I was just from that. So. Yeah, happy with the squad. Probably w wouldn't change it. The only thing I might do is I might have had chucked Emma in there for um, the, the anti incinerate sort of stuff. Um, I also thought about chucking run a bit Emma in. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can see that. Uh, so, Zap, uh, you had Prime in your list uh, for the rerolls and all of that. Uh, and uh, so, what were your thoughts on the team you brought? You brought Miles as well. Um, what, were, what were your thoughts on your squad? Um. So I, I just really like this. Like, I think the core is, is a number of three threats with Charles that can start the chain and then keep going. Um, Miles, I felt I had to let die because I had to save magic. Magic was just going to do more damage output, I thought. Right. Um, so that felt bad, but then it... Uh, the dice at the end there were absolutely ridiculous. Yeah, that was uh, that was pretty wild. Um, I uh, I am going to end the stream because I am tired. But thank you very much, yeah. guys, for uh, for letting us stream the letting me stream the game. That was very fun to watch. Very exciting. So congrats to Sozap for uh, qualifying for the top cut and and Theo. Hopefully, we see you in the uh, Swiss bracket in about a month from now. Yeah, man. Yeah, we'll see, man. It's always a good league. I'm not sure if I play this one. I've just got a lot of stuff going on at home, but um, probably wholeheartedly encourage um, anyone to have a crack. Yes. Oh, absolutely. And and if you're on the, the right time zone, everyone I played in the Australia League has been fantastic. I'm sure it's the same in other leagues as well. So. Yes. Well, thank you guys very much, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Yeah. No worries. Thanks, Take Lucas. care. Thank you. All right, that's the stream, guys. The next uh, finals, second chance game is over. Um, so we've got Central and East Bracket to figure out coming up. Europe as well, eventually. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one. See you later.